hello everybody thank you for coming in and clicking on the channel i want to offer a prayer today for those who may be struggling with their faithfulness and their commitment to christ your faithfulness in what you say you want to stop doing or start doing um more particularly in our area of our sin because we're always struggling with our sin nature and sin is not sin if it's not something to struggle with. And sin is attractive and sin is strong. Because if it didn't form bad habits, there's nothing to break and then there's nothing to pray about. So I want to offer prayer for all of us. You who are struggling, me who are struggling on different days, times of the month, times of the year, just different seasons. Different things can cause a person to feel like the struggle is stronger sometimes than it is at other times. Maybe boredom. Boredom, if you're not working in your discipline or what you feel like God has called you to, you're not doing that, and you feel bored. Uh, discouragement, setbacks, disappointments can sometimes cause you to relapse or just not even relapse, but not be as committed as you want to be. So I want to say, Father, we glorify you for who you are and not who we are. You're God and we're not. I pray for us, the Christian body, that are struggling, maybe in areas where we feel weak, trying to get to know you and come closer to you. There's many who love you and want to do better, want to put down sin, want to challenge their sin harder, want their spirit man to gain more strength but it seems like that sin nature keeps raising his head and making them feel like they're not gaining ground but i thank you jesus that you have already given us the answer and the answer is not even easy always to implement you tell us to stay close to the true vine stay connected and dwell in the shadow of the almighty because the answers is in you it's not in us as we come closer to you, Father, we even ask for an increase of thirst. Give us a thirst for righteousness so that we can hunger for you, hunger for righteousness. Our willpower gets weak sometimes. We thank you that we can call on you. Get in prayer. Get a song in our heart. Put on worship music. Sing a song of thanksgiving to you and pray more. Push harder. Delve into prayer. And we thank you, Jesus. We bless you and glorify you and thank you right now because your way is the right way. And you know what mankind is about. You know how you fashion us and fit us together. You know every person's mindset, where their struggles lie. We come into these seasons, Father, where we're strong sometimes and we're running. We're running with everything we got. And we feel like we're making good ground and we're glorifying you. I thank you, Jesus. I just thank you. I thank you for the saints that are on the battlefield. I even pray for these marriages, Father. Marriages are going through a tough time right now. They're struggling, even just to stay together. Everything is a reason and a way to step out of the marriage. We're not condemning nobody who's gotten a divorce. But, Father, we pray for those who want to keep their marriage and their families intact. Because the enemy is always, always, always on his assignment to bring discouragement. And we thank you, Jesus, that you bring encouragement in your word. You already set an order for the people. Now all we have to do is get into the place with you. Even though the struggle is there, get in the place with you and comply. I thank you, Jesus. The children are going back to school right now. New school season. I pray for their safety. I pray for their safety as the children have to get on and off at bus stops. They're coming home. Sometimes the parents are not at home to greet them and to receive them. And they have to be at home for a little while by themselves that there be safety. I thank you, Father, in the schools where the teachers and the staff are, that there be safety amongst the students and with the staff. I thank you, Jesus. Our children need covering. I bless you, Father. Again, thank you, Jesus, for the strength, for the sin nature. Sin nature as we keep trying to put it down trying to crucify this flesh because the flesh don't want to yield. And we thank you, Father, that you said change the mind and it don't even want to comply all the time. But your way is the right way. And we pull on your strength because you're all we got. We thank you right now. 
Thank you all for letting me pray with you in Jesus' name. And go in encouragement because you can do it. If he said we can do it, we can do it. This flesh has got to get put down. We keep putting it down. That is suffer. That's what it's supposed to do. Suffering don't feel good. Suffering challenges you. It makes you sweat sometimes. It makes you just sit and say, huh. <laughs> sometimes. But you can do it. Y'all take care, okay? Bye-bye.